Hello, this is Hussam Horani again, and uh, we will continue our lessons. Uh, we still in the classification, and today we will talk about test model. Before I show you in Orange Data Mining how to do test model, uh, you need to distinguish between three data sets. The training data set, the training data set is the data set you use to train your uh, model for fitting. The validation data set you use it while you are doing training, you use this validation data set to um, adjust your model, to adjust your hyper parameters, and you, you scale your model. And after you finish the training uh, and uh, the validation, you go for the test data set where you need to uh, get the final accuracy. So these are the three data sets normally. Uh, you have uh, data here, data uh, data set, yeah, and normally they divide it into train validate, and you might get different data set for testing. Let me show you how you will do this in Orange Data Mining. It's very simple, it's very direct. If you remember from uh, our last example, uh, I will use a simple workflow. So I will use uh, Iris data set. I will make sure that I have a target. Uh, I will apply and I will connect into test data set, test, uh, test score, test score. And I will use two models. One uh, is the logistic regression and one uh, is the tree for classification. So we have two models, two models. Let's compare the results here. You have area under curve uh, uh, and you have the accuracy. The accuracy is 960 and 967. This is based on what? Based on sampling, based on cross validation, and we used five uh, folds uh, approach to validate our data set. But is this the right uh, testing? It's not the right testing. You can use testing in different way. Let me show you uh, two specific ways to do testing. First, I will uh, use uh, now another workflow. So I will use file and I will use iris. Uh, and in iris, I have this uh, target. And I will I will I will connect it to a data sampler. This is where you can control the uh, percentage of the training versus the remaining data. So what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna select fixed uh, 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 fixed portion of the uh, data. The 75 percent will be for training, and the remaining 25 percent is for testing. So I connect this directly to testing now. Test and score. And from here, I will do two things. I will connect data sampler with data, which is the training data set, data set. And the remaining data, the 25 uh, remaining data, I will connect it to test data, to test data, okay? And also, I need to select test on test data, test on test data. And I will choose two models. Uh, let's use logistic, the same thing, logistic regression. And let's also use uh, three. <clears throat> and from here you will see that the uh, accuracy is uh, 0.892 for a tree and logistic regression is 0.919 of course the classification is now different because uh, you have now different sizes of your data set but if you have a proper data set with enough data uh, uh, included, enough, uh, enough records, enough instances, then uh, the accuracy should be, uh, should be okay. So this is the second way of doing testing. But also you can do another way, which is you can select first file. File, we will use Iris, the same thing, okay? And from Iris, we will connect directly to test and score. Also, we will connect this to file again, file, and we will, from file, I gonna uh, select uh, uh, a one data set that I built already. I will show it to you in a bit. Um, this is the data set. I call it Iris for test. So I prepared specific data set for testing, okay? Uh, and I named it Iris for uh, set dot tab. And if you wanna see it, uh, I have, I have it here. I can just open it for you to see what is inside this. It has actually 30 records, uh, 10 records per each class. And I changed a little bit. I tuned the numbers here based on my knowledge on these uh, classes. And I built this data set for testing.
So I gonna use this now for testing. Uh, now the test is ready, but I will need to choose test on test data, and also uh, data must go to test data, which is fine. And of course, on this is the data, it goes to data itself for training. And now I can choose logistic regression, logistic regression. And also I can choose three, I can choose three. And you can see now the uh, accuracy nine, six, eight uh, and nine, six, eight uh, for the classification accuracy for both three and logistic regression. And area under curve uh, nine, eight, four and one. See the difference between this one and the original one. This is the original one. Let's compare both. As you can see, uh, with testing data, we got more, more accuracy here, more accuracy, because we uh, I prepared uh, a proper data set for testing. So the advice here is either to use this one or to use this one. If you have enough uh, records in your data set, then you can have the data sampler, as, as you can see, and you can maybe choose 80% uh, for uh, training and uh, to the remaining 20% for testing. Uh, or if you have separate data to test, you can use this file and you can connect the data to data set and you can have the, the results as you can see from here. This lesson uh, is finished uh, for testing. I hope to see you in uh, the next lesson. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying what we are showing you from Orange Data Mining. The amazing tool, the, sim the simple tool, you can do many things in no time comparing with other applications. See you in uh, our next uh, lesson and goodbye.